Mr. Gerald. Who are you looking for, Alma? Isn't Mrs. Layla with you, Mr. Gerald? Layla? Isn't Layla at home? No, she isn't. She left yesterday afternoon and never came back. What do you mean, Mason? Do you really think that I'm lying to you? I didn't say that, Erin. Well, then, what are you saying? While you were talking to the police, you hesitated. Could there be somebody that you're afraid of, Erin? Who am I supposed to be afraid of? I don't know. I, I don't. But you're hiding something. I'm just trying to figure out what it is. You think that everyone is a liar and a cheater, don't you, Mason? I didn't say that, Erin. Okay, Aaron. fine, Mason. Okay, believe whatever you want to believe, but I'm really in no condition to tell you anything. I'm sorry. I really didn't mean to imply that you were lying. I'm just trying to understand all of this. All right. I'm a suspicious, paranoid old man, and I'm sorry. Erin. Erin. I was so scared. I know. I was so scared that that man was going to do something to me. Okay. It's all over now. It's over. I'm sorry I pushed you. It was very inconsiderate of me. I just can't get my head around it. What would anyone want from me apart from work? I don't get it. Come on, get yourself ready. Let's get out of here. Come on, I'm not leaving you here. I don't think he'll come back here. Don't worry, I'll be just fine. Besides, where can I... No, I can't leave you alone here. There's a very nice hotel I know, and you can stay there for a few days while we secure the door. Come on. Okay, tell me the name so I can call and see if they have a room. I'm sure they do. It's a very private residence, Mason Palace. Its owner is this suspicious guy who keeps saying the wrong thing all the time. <laughs> and you know, they don't take no for an answer. Come on, get your things ready. <laughs> Alma, why didn't you tell me this before? Did you think that now was the right time to tell me this? I called you, Mr. Gerald, more than once, but your cell phone was switched off. When I couldn't reach you, I assumed that you were together. What, what time did she leave? I'm... I think it was a little after three. After three? After three? The woman has been missing for almost a whole day! Alma! I didn't know what to do either, Mr. Gerald. I didn't know who to call when I couldn't reach you on your phone. And I didn't want to call the police without telling you everything first. Sir, my mother wanted to call Mr. Mason, but I told her not to. We didn't want to cause a fuss. We couldn't have known, Enough, you know? Enough, Kenny. She may have gone over to her brother. I'll call him. Let's keep calling. I n never thought to call Mr. Michael. Hello. Hello, Michael. Gerald? Has something happened? No, no, nothing. Uh, did Layla stay with you last night? No, she didn't. Isn't she home? <sighs> no, she isn't. She left home yesterday, apparently. We can't find her. I don't get it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Tell me this from the beginning. What do you mean you can't find her? No. Alma says she left the house yesterday, and apparently she left around three and never came back. I'm only just... Finding out about this now. What shall we do? Shall I come over there? <clears throat> okay. Don't call anyone. I'm coming over. Okay, okay. Yes, here we go. Who's that? It's only me, Susie. Oh, my God, Mason. For a minute, I thought that... 
<laughs> you thought what? Well, I thought you were a robber or something. <sighs> a robber? The robber has been and gone, not into our house. Today. What do you mean? Hello, Susie. Hello, Aaron. I wish you had let me know about this. I mean, look at the condition uh, of this place. Please, don't trouble yourself on my account. No. Well, when my mother left, we made this place our headquarters, hence all the mess. Please excuse it. What's that? Oh, I really shouldn't tell you. You'd become an accessory. Come on, you get some rest. I'll show you to your room, okay? Go ahead up there. I'll bring you your things. Here. Is this your bedroom? Mason Palace. <laughs> I'll be downstairs. You get some rest. Get some sleep, okay? Hey, Mason. Hmm? Thank you for everything. I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> now get some rest. What's up? Why won't you speak? What's going on? She'll be staying here with us for a few days. A few days? She has a huge suitcase. Shh, my goodness. Does your mother know that you're bringing girls home? Shh. She's going to hear. Well, then spill it. Tell me everything. Well, you know she called me over in a hurry last night. Uh-huh. Because there was a burglar in the house. Uh, a burglar? She was very scared, so I told her to come and stay here for a few days, and she said okay. Oh, the poor thing. She was so scared. Oh, my God. Didn't she have anywhere else to go? Why are you acting so crazy? Why don't you go and make some tea instead? I didn't get to sleep a wink all night long. Come on now, make me a cup of tea and don't worry your pretty little head with all of this, please, okay? 